Morning cuddles. Yay. Sunday morning cuddles with my little girl <laughs> on the couch. And she's like, oh, but my hair's not ready. I know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sunday morning cuddles. This is how we're starting off for the week. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you think I can get much more into my garbage? This is my garbage bin. <laughs> this is my recycling bin. This is my paper bin. Um, and this is supposed to be my compost because our city actually accepts pizza boxes to put compost in it. Do you think I can get much more in there? God, this is crazy. <sighs> but, yeah, really, it's just being real here, people. Sunday afternoon, I don't think I can get much more in there. I think I actually have to take all the garbage and everything out. <sighs> there we go. I wanted to prove that I can actually take the garbages out. It feels a little better knowing that, you know, I can actually throw stuff away now. Why is it that, you know, we do this? Why do we make all this stuff overflow to the point where then we really don't want to take it out? It's one of those mysteries of life, I guess. Okay, it's almost dinner time. Not so hypothetical question. Since five o'clock, it is almost six o'clock. My son has eaten four pieces of pizza and two waffles and one freezy. Do I still need to make him dinner? Please help me with this. It's Sunday night. If I don't have to cook, like, turn on the oven? Fantastic. Help me out here. I'm probably still gonna have to give him more food. He seems to be in the mid He seems to either be about to do a growth spurt or doing a growth spurt. So hence the whole bunch of food. <sighs> it's a mom life, Italia. <laughs> so, my son asked for dinner um, while I was making my couscous salad. This is, I absolutely love this salad. Um, it's so easy to make. Couscous, whatever veggies you want. I have um, cucumbers, sun-dried tomatoes, um, corn, and chickpeas in it with like half and half lemon and olive oil with salt. And then I usually um, also sprinkle on some of this lemon and herbs. This will last for a few days in the fridge and basically I just like grab a bowl full and eat it and oh, it's so yummy. So I've made this for myself because neither of my kids will go anywhere near this. Um, and then I've got dinner in the oven for my son, which I'm sad to say he asked for french fries and chicken sticks. It's the way it is, I guess, eh? I also decided to add some feta this time as well so does that make it more Greek I guess <laughs> I don't know anyways bon appetit the buttons what do you push yep two nine start good job hi guys it's Monday morning and it's about a uh, quarter to 11. My daughter's already gone over for soupy for a little bit, but there was drama this morning. Drama, I tell you. Um, so my boyfriend's son is at his place Mondays, well, Sundays through Wednesdays, actually. Um, and, you know, the kids, well, my daughter and him want to go over to the soupy every day. And she woke up at quarter to 10. Soupy starts at 10 o'clock. Um, and you know, it's summertime. I let her sleep in. No big deal. You know, she can go to the soupy this afternoon. Well, no. Boyfriend's son wanted to go this morning, so it's not too hot. So she had to quickly like shovel her breakfast in and get changed and oh my goodness and discombobulation and all this stuff. So anyway, they made it to soupy this morning and apparently they're coming back here to stop off and like for her to change out of her swimsuit and pick up her iPad and then they're going back to his place. This is what they've decided. So they just basically like go between the two houses. It's a good thing that we're only like three blocks away from each other. So I'm just steeping my second cup of tea of the morning and I actually have some computer work that I need to do this morning. So I guess I better go do that. <laughs> Silly, what did you ask oh. for? What did you ask for? What did we just do to your toes? Hey, look what we just did. He said blue toes, please. Blue paint toes, please. Right? 
Can you say it again? Can you say it again? Blue paint toes, please. Took me a while to figure out what he meant, but that's what he meant. How cute is that? Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. That's it. We're at the park again, and we're visit. We're. Daddy! Oh, it's okay. When do you see? <laughs> when do you see Daddy? Wednesday. On Wednesday. That's right. It's Tuesday, and we're gonna meet up with some friends in the autism community today again. I'm wearing one of my autism shirts, and it just worked out that we're both wearing green today. Right, sweetheart? Hey, you gonna smile? Oh, you look sleepy suddenly. It's really hot out again today. It seems like that's, you know, the theme of our summer break. So, we're just at the park, we're under the shade. Um, if you watched last week's Week in the Life, you'll know that my son actually threw Elmo up into the trees. So what did I bring today? Because I'm a good Canadian. <laughs> I brought a really long, um, what are they called? Snow scraper things for, from the car because it was easily accessible and it's long. So hopefully I can get Elmo out okay. So we're just going to set up all of our stuff on the blanket here and wait for our friends. To go right? Honey. We just got here. We don't go home soon. Okay, can you say bye YouTube? Bye YouTube. That's it. There was a flaw in my plan. He threw Elmo way too high now. I think we would need like one of those extending ladders to get it. Oh dear. To give you a bit of scale, okay, there's the bottom of the tree. Elmo is all the way, I can barely see him in this, but he's up there. That's a good 20 feet at least. This is not good. Hi guys, it's Wednesday, about dinner time or so. Um, I didn't really get a chance to finish Tuesday, I guess, um, or really do much today because honestly, I think the heat has gotten to my son. He, um, not only did Elmo get put up in the tree yesterday, but we actually couldn't bring Elmo home either. Um, yeah, and considering that, actually my son did really, really well. But um, thankfully, my boyfriend is actually, not only is he a nerd, but he is also former quarterback um, back in high school. And so he was actually able to go over and he took a football with him and it took a little bit of time, but he was able to knock Elmo out of the tree, which was great because like his one arm was wrapped around <laughs> one of the branches. So the wonderful, wonderful man that he is came over and dropped Elmo off. Um, and my poor boyfriend was just dripping in sweat because the humidity here right now is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And apparently today is the hottest um, day on record this summer and it's I think I saw like it's 34 degrees or something Celsius but with the humidity it's about 45 so basically nothing is happening outside at all right now anywhere um, it was like the leading thing on the six o'clock news which I just turned off to kind of update you guys um, so we did get Elmo but I think still, even though the air conditioners and everything are on inside, I think the humidity is getting to my son now. Today he's been doing, one of the cool behaviors of autism is this like hysterical laughing that just kind of happens. And it will, you know, like go on and on for hours on end, which is awesome because you can't hear it and not laugh yourself. However, what's been the problem today is my poor son has gone between this hysterical laughing and just full out bawling his eyes out. Um, and just, you know, it just breaks my heart to, to watch these like ebb and flow of, of what's going on for him. So I haven't really been vlogging too much. Um, last night and well I haven't at all today this is the first time I'm doing it and basically because his dad's come to pick him up and he's gone over there for an overnight so 
Um, yeah, but after the park yesterday, actually we had a session with the behavioral therapist, so she was working with him, which was great. That lasted about an hour, and then the poor guy you could see suddenly under his eyes got like all gray, and it was just, okay, he's done. Because she pushes him a lot, and pushes him outside of his comfort zone, which is a good thing, but it's also very tiring for him. Um, so he's at his dad's tonight. The news, I guess, that I have right now, and so please, please, please keep your fingers crossed. Please, please, please. Um, is a mechanic friend of mine actually has an in on a potential vehicle for us. So... Um, please keep your fingers crossed. It's getting shipped into town because right now I guess it's I think three hours away drive something like that three to four hours. I think um, And it's getting shipped into his buddy's dealership on the weekend and Then they're gonna do a whole bunch of upgrades and fixes and all this kind of stuff to get it road ready and then my buddy, who's, as I said, a mechanic, is going to pick me up um, next Wednesday, actually, when my son's at his dad's again. And um, he's going to take me for the test drive. And what's fantastic, because it's his buddy's place that is the dealership, um, they are actually going to keep it up on the lift for him to look at. So he's going to be able to look at everything in the underneath of the car. Um, and then I'm going to be able to test drive it and he's going to look and he's going to be part of it and everything. So I feel a lot safer knowing that a mechanic is going to be looking at it. And he's also an autism dad too, which is fantastic. So, you know, he understands those kind of quirks and stuff that we, that we need, um, for our kids. So, sorry, it looks like there's a shadow on here. It's probably actually my camera. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so that'll be really good so keep your fingers crossed for us that that will actually be a vehicle for us because honestly it feels like we've kind of just been housebound when you're a car family it's tough to to switch the mindset to be able to like still be able to get around town especially when I can't rely on for lack of a better term my son's behavior so um yeah that just, it makes it tough. But anyway, he's at his dad's right now, so I'm sure that my daughter is gonna come downstairs any minute now, and, cause she was, she's been out, she did a play date this morning, she did another play date this afternoon. This girl has a busy schedule. Um, and then once my son's behaviors kind of started ramping up before he got picked up, she actually asked if she could go upstairs to my room where there's air conditioning up there. Um, to kind of be away from the behaviors so I'm sure at some point soon she'll come downstairs and say mommy can we have a movie night because <laughs> that tends to be what we do on Wednesdays when he's at his dad's so anyways I think that's it for now talk to you guys later bye hi guys so it's Thursday morning and I'm just making my second cup of tea my son has come back from his dad's um, and we're so, so thankful that it rained last night. Yay! Unfortunately, didn't get rid of any of the humidity. It's still quite humid out. Um, but here's a funny, okay? So we have a play date tomorrow, coming tomorrow afternoon for, I don't know. We say that it's for the kids, but really it's for us moms. <laughs> when um, all of us are together, the time just goes by like that. It's amazing, actually. Um, so I need to kind of do a little bit of tidy up around the house, you know, I just want to kind of tidy up the kids' spots, um, that kind of stuff, you know, sweep. Um, I do want to clean the bathroom though, because there's going to be three extra people using it all day tomorrow, or in the afternoon anyway. So that's going to kind of be my day today, nothing really special, but honestly it's too hot to do anything anyway. So I'm just gonna slowly make my way through for the day. Um, but, and I might actually reorganize my desk area or my office, my like home office desk area, whatever you wanna call it too. So we'll see how the day goes, but it's definitely a 2T kind of day. So it is currently just after 
I'm about to have my second cup of tea and um, I'm gonna sit down and probably watch some YouTube while I drink it and then I'm gonna get on my to-do list for the day it's really exciting but uh, what's ironic is that my daughter um, I mean as you know she goes oh, I'm already getting warm as you know she goes to the soupy every day oh there we go my kettles boiled um, but today she's like oh mommy but you know I we've got a busy busy day tomorrow and I haven't had a lazy day so I think I'm just gonna stay home today and uh, not go to the soupy so I don't know she, she'll end up playing with neighborhood kids or something that's a lazy day for her so <laughs> we'll see how her day goes um, my son's having a few behaviors already this morning so um, you know I'll have to kind of do the tidying around uh, what around his needs basically for the day so anyway it's tea time bye are you coloring look at the concentration <gasps> you're doing a great job sweetheart that looks lovely So serious. Are you coloring, coloring the butterfly red? <laughs> oh, not much light, but my little man was fighting going to sleep. Now I have to take him from the couch up to bed. Poor little guy. What you doing? Are you just randomly lying on the floor? Why are we randomly lying on the floor? <laughs> what you doing, sweetheart? I just walked in, as you can hear, to take stuff out of the oven. And, um, I walked into a little boy lying on the floor. Just cuz. What you doing? What you doing? I see a smile coming. I think you need a tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle,
and then today it's been kind of a lot of running around because as you can see I have a car it's not my car though it's a rental um, and I'll show you, I did take a, a clip of the vehicle they initially gave me. It was like a great big, huge pickup truck. And it was just, it was too big. Like I could drive it and everything. And if I was just doing stuff to be around town, then that would be fine. But um, you know what? We're driving into Toronto. And uh, I really didn't want to park that huge beast of a vehicle in Toronto. So um, they were kind enough, the rental car agency people, to... Uh, oh, I'm just going to switch lanes here. Um, I asked them if I could come back later and see if somebody had brought in a smaller vehicle. And they had. And that's what this is. It's a RAV4. And... I'm really liking it actually um, just you know the little bit of driving that well I mean I've actually run a whole bunch of errands today um, but it works it's a good feel of a drive and it's big enough for us um, the kids would still have tons of space in the back and all this kind of stuff so um, yeah, but I do have a line on a potential vehicle for next next week that I'll be test driving. So if that one doesn't doesn't work, then um, I may ask my mechanic friend to look around for a used one of these because it's fantastic um, and it fits for us, which is cool. But um, <laughs> two disasters that have happened today—they're not big disasters, but it's one of those oh, really kind of things. I have broken two pairs of sunglasses today two one of them I just had it on the top of my head when I um, was sitting there watching my daughter at karate and it, I suddenly felt this like click kind of thing and the thing just disintegrated um, and then my other backup pair of sunglasses the arm like fell off as soon as I went to put it on um, but then these ones were still there okay, so, or are still working. Um, so now I have to get up, get a few other pairs of sunglasses as backup sunglasses, because clearly I am not safe to be around sunglasses right now. So I am just going to pick up my boyfriend. He's been working at a wedding today, um, and it's an afternoon wedding um, outdoors, which is nice because um, he's a photographer I don't know if I've mentioned that before and then we're gonna run home he's gonna get changed and guess what we're doing tonight we're going to the Led Zeppelin concert in Toronto <laughs> how cool is that like totally no, nobody's expecting at all like when I tell my friends that we're going they're like are you serious you're going to Led Zeppelin I'm like yeah of course so we're gonna go do that, so that'll be fun. We're gonna miss the opening act, but that's okay. No big deal. Um, so anyway, I'm actually almost at this wedding that I'm picking him up at, so I better let you guys go. Bye for now. So this was the big truck that we had rented this morning, basically to just take my daughter to karate. Oh, now she's climbing in. <laughs> because they didn't have any smaller vehicles for me for today, so. It was a good drive, I'll say that, um, but a little too big for us to drive into Toronto tonight, so. Are you really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, so yes. it was a Nissan Frontier. It was a good drive though, but a bit too big for needing to drive and park in Toronto tonight.